and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if anybody's asked a question about the process icons I have on the right hand side of my screen here. And I kind of alluded to it in uh, episode 22, I believe it was, uh, that, you know, it, it, it follows my workflow, blank, uh, you know, image scoring, pre-processing, so on and so forth. Well, but how do we get these icons over here? If you're asking that question, this is the video to show you how to do that because I need to add a few uh, icons to this uh, this list. Uh, notably, the uh, star alignment image integration and unsharp mask now that I'm using those a little bit more uh, nowadays so what we want to do is let's say I want to put the star alignment uh, process icon over here in the left or the right hand side of my screen so all we got to do is come up here to process find it you can either go through any of these sub menus down here I prefer the all processes and find my star alignment which is right here and it's as simple as taking the little triangle now, normally we would take this little triangle drag it onto our image to apply any settings we have but in this particular case we're going to take that triangle we're going to drag it over as you can see, it creates a nice little icon right here. So we're going to right click on it. And we're going to edit the description. Nope. We are going to set icon identifier. And we will just call this star alignment. Click OK. Now we have an icon here. So I'm just going to drag up here. And then I'll pop it right here. Now, as I said before, you know, if it's under the script, you can still create an icon so that you can help ensure that you have your workflow, but you're not going to be able to run it from here which is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and image integration. We'll pop that one right there. Move these up. And then the last one is Unsharp Mask. And we'll bring it down here. Close that out. Arrange them, align left, just to make them nice and neat. And then our icons, we'll save them. So all I did with there was drag and drop on them, right click, arrange, align left, right, center, however you choose to do it. So I like align left. And then all I'm going to do is right click anywhere, go over here to process icons, save them. And if you don't already have one, this is where you can create the, the name for it. But since I already have one, I'm just going to overwrite it. Just say save. Yep, I'm going to overwrite. So now if I go here and I remove them, all we need to do, because this is the way PixInsight is going to load after you start it up, just come over here, 
to process icons, right click, process icons, load them, find your file, and bam, there they are. So there's my star alignment, my image integration, and my unsharp mask that I just created. Hope this helps you out. Like I said, it helps me out. It has my workflow right, right along here. Starting with blink, ending in unsharp mask. Aside from having the file, uh, the Word document that has all the uh, steps in it, I mostly use that to get to keep track of the settings I need. You know, my pixel size, my focal length, uh, you know, my denoise settings, things of that nature. All are start values, and that's what that Word document is there for. Uh, it is obviously going to be in line with the way the icons are, but having the icons there means that I don't have to constantly be going back to it. If I forget a step, I can just come over here. You know, do I need to go back to my Word document after I've done my image integration and I got my master file? Do I need to go to my Word document and say, oh, I need to dynamic crop. Oh, I need to back extract the background. Now I can just look over here, done it enough that I kind of remember most of the steps anyways, but it's just kind of nice here to have them here so that I can say, okay, I just did my integration. What's next? Oh, dynamic crop. That's right. Okay. Next DBE, ABE. Well, I know that these two, I'm going to do a quick ABE, see what I have, and then probably go over and do a DBE. So, you know, having these over here, immensely helpful. I don't have to go up here and constantly be hunting and searching and, and all that. So how was this helpful? Well, as you saw in the past couple of videos where I uh, processed M81, M82, and NGC1502, uh, you know, the, these process icons were immensely helpful. Every time, as you noticed, I just since I just added the star alignment and image integration, I wasn't having to come up here or going forward, I should say. I'm not going to have to come up here and then hunt and search and remember my alphabet and, oh, there's star alignment. Oh, where's image integration? Oh, right there it is. Okay. So, you know, it's just going to save time because I can pop over here. Boom, there it is. I can rock and roll. So... That's going to save me some time. You know, hopefully uh, clouds are projected to break and I can finally get some imaging done in the, for the first time in a couple of weeks. And uh, with any luck, I'll be able to finish two, maybe three more targets if everything goes according to plan. Um, and... That'd be awesome, and then I'll be uh, starting uh, getting data on a couple others. So, with any luck, I'm going to be crossing my fingers, my toes, my arms, everything I got, trying to make sure that everything works the way it's going to tonight. And then once I start processing that data, I now have my icons over here to help eliminate those few seconds it takes to come up here and do that. Uh, a few seconds saved each session I mean or, you know that, that who knows what that means you know that could mean that i can get more done if it's a full day and i can actually get a bunch done um but you know you do you this is the way i like to work this is the way i like to have my icons this is the way i like to have my workflow so if it hel helps you out figure to figure out what works for you that's awesome uh, just throwing out there what I'm doing you know do what you need to do to make your workflow and your process as smooth as possible as efficient as possible so that you can get the images that you like and with that I'm gonna wish you a good rest of your day Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified when I upload something new, and by all means, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. 
clear skies.